It will be a daytime hunt. As the mouse entails the cave, she realizes there is a snake in there. She proceeds with caution. Spotty has realized there is food in the cage. She will strike soon. And her strike will kill them all. Spotty has not made her appearance yet, but she is well aware there is a mice in her cage. The haunt begins. I need my charger. My phone is a dying, of course, but I don't want to miss the action. And just like that, Spotty has struck in the mice. She has taken him inside of the cave to kill him. It is a clean strike. Spotty has the snake in her grasp. And she will not let her go. She will not escape her grasp. Spotty has a secure hold on the mice. She will not let her go. She will not survive. It's a strike. She will squeeze her and squeeze her and squeeze her two days. We shall let her finish killing her kill and then we will proceed. Thirdly, she begins to eat the mice. I am very concerned because she did not heal her for a long time. Maybe less than a minute. We don't, we want to make sure that the mice is dead. But Spotty has a very, very strong, very strong squeeze. She has squeezed the life out of this mice in less than say a minute and she has begun to eat her eat her half alive as Spotty proceeds to consume the mice I am quite sure she is dead at this point she is squeezing the mice to death it was a very large mice maybe a small rat of course Please excuse the singing in the background. My mother is crazy. Mother, please, I am beholden. She has become quite an efficient eater. This is a large, this is a large mice and she is devouring it with precision. Notice how she drags the mice and positions it to, for the swallowing. It is kind of like a slot and she swallows a large cock. She will position the cock so it can slide down her throat with little to no friction. We call them hollow throats. Hello, throat slots. I know I feel them. Maybe two or three. Maybe seven. Okay, maybe a dozen. I love a good slot. I don't. I. I, I really don't care what you think of my sexual prowess. Okay, so the leg, the front, left leg is presenting a problem. She must position the leg just right so that she can swell out the mice. If the leg is going back, I do believe she'll be able to swallow it. Her mother was a, was a very, very famous deep throat. They used to call her as a deep throat of the south. Watch how she'll take the mice and swing her around. Yeah. 
in the leg is gone. She has position the leg, and then she will begin to swell her as a mice. Oh. This is absolutely fascinating. Oh, this is so fascinating. My God. She's taking the whole thing down her throat. Oh, this is a big one. This one will present a problem because of the girth of her. You can do it, Spotty. You can do it. Oh, yes, you can. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, you can take it all. Oh, your thoughts. Okay, maybe this is a bit inappropriate. Maybe I have one just a little bit too far. Okay, is your uh, uh, fascinating? She's quite a fascinating detail. Beautiful, sporty, beautiful. This is amazing how they can eat such large prey. Maybe this mouse was pregnant. I'm quite sure this mouse was pregnant. Maybe there is a baby popping out of her vagina. I'm almost certain there is a baby popping out of her vagina. Do you see this? Anyway, I'll be more nourishment for the snake. It is a main course, an appetizer, and maybe a little of dessert. Oh, you made such good work of this small thing. Quite fascinating. Fascinating. Look at her. She has a male thing. And just like this, the mice is gone. She will need to realign her bottom jaw. Look at her bottom jaw. It is, how do you say, out of alignment? It is out of alignment. Felt your knitting. It took quite a while for her to become comfortable with letting me watch her eat because she was still very much scared of me. But now she does not care. She will eat in the open, in the hide, on the floor, on the ceiling, on the table, anywhere there is a mouse or rat. She will eat with no shame. There was quite a large meal for uh, a young Spotty. She will not need to eat for maybe seven days. Seven to ten days. But I do enjoy spoiling her, so she probably will eat in another five days, maybe. What is today? Today is uh, Monday. Let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's Friday, it's Saturday. Maybe I'll feed her rain on the Saturday or the Sunday, no later than the Monday. Now you can see the large lump in her side. This is what you want. 
for your snake. You want a significant lump in their stomach. If you feed your snake and you cannot tell if your snake has eaten, then your snake is not being fed at the proper size. Relevant. You should always see a very significant, not massive, not large, but a significant size lump in your snake's belly. You should be able to tell that your snake has just eaten a rodent. Now she will retire to as a hide to digest her meal. Maybe she will have a drink of the water. I like a bit of a drink of the large meal to wash it down. Will you have a little bit of a drink? I think she's going to have a drink of water. No, she doesn't want to drink of the water. She just wants to go back into her hide and don't just have feed. This is her small hide, so we will need to put her large hide back in because she will need some room to stretch out. Believe it or not, she prefers the small hide. She likes to be in tight cramp spouses. Okay, I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to return her hide back to the cold side. And I'm going to let her relax and enjoy her meal. Good day, people. This has been another video by Spot Easy Ventures. And I'm glad that you tuned in. Good day. You also want to take the time to make sure that you guys are using your hydration system. You take your hydration system like this and you spray it all over like that. You want to make sure that you keep a nice, moist, <sighs> hot environment. For your snake because where they come from is very hot and moist very hot and moist now we will retire and let her you definitely want to keep a very very hot and moist environment for your snake this is the optimal environment that your snake will thrive and grow and become you know in a very healthy large adult she is just eating a very, very large rodent, and I have misted her cage with the Mr. 5000, and I'm going to let her relax and, and digest her meal, you know? Good day. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Spotty's Adventures. See you next time.